Hi, I'm Larry Becker and today I have a camera review on two cameras that have names and feature sets that are very similar. They're the Canon Rebel T6i and the Rebel T6s. If you've been considering or maybe you even own a Canon Rebel T5i, you might wonder are there any notable improvements with the T6i and the T6s? And the answer is yes. We'll start off by talking about who these cameras are for, the main specifications and performance, we'll look at image quality, and then we'll look at the wow features for consumers as well as enthusiasts, and we'll wrap up by showing you a few of the features and functions that make these two cameras different from one another so that you can pick the one that's right for you. Since the introduction of the Canon Rebel line, these APS-C sensor-equipped DSLRs are targeted at entry-level consumers moving up from a point-and-shoot or maybe a cell phone camera. They're for advanced amateurs and enthusiasts, for travelers, and for parents and grandparents who are photographing kids playing sports or maybe at school recitals. Now, the Rebel T6i and the T6S are loaded with automatic and scene modes to help novices get great shots from the first day they start using the camera. And there are settings and modes geared for more advanced users who want to take more control over all aspects of their exposures. But what's interesting is that these cameras are so packed with advanced capabilities that most pros would probably feel right at home and they'd be getting some of the best images possible with an APS-C size sensor. I can easily see a T6i or T6s going along on a pro shoot as a backup camera and standing in if there are problems with that pro rig. I was having this exact discussion with a pro shooter friend of mine and he says his regular practice is to always have a good full frame and a cropped sensor camera like this. The Rebel T6i and T6s are 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor equipped DSLRs. They have Canon's new Digic 6 image processor and among other fast performance aspects of the camera, they can shoot bursts at up to 5 frames a second. The cameras deliver a respectable 100 to 12,800 native ISO, and that's even expandable up to 25,600. More than doubling previous Rebel's number of focus sensors, there are now 19 phase detection and cross-type sensors in a diamond setup, which covers a nice big portion of the image area. The autofocus technology in these T6s is new. Canon calls it their hybrid CMOS AF3 autofocus system. It's the quickest and most accurate I've seen in a Rebel camera, and it does less focus hunting in live view and video than previous Rebel models. Both the T6i and the T6s have 1.04 million dot twist flip LCD touch screens. I really like how Canon enables their touch screen control. While some manufacturers let you pick a focus point and not much else, Canon lets you navigate menus. You can swipe left and right during image playback, you can pinch zoom during review, and even touch control the quick control screen. Of course, you can touch focus and touch shutter to focus on a spot and take the shot without ever even pressing that shutter button. The flash sync speed is 1 200th of a second, and while you can add a flash with the hot shoe, you can use that built-in pop-up flash as a light source with ETTL metering, and the pop-up flash can even trigger compatible off-camera flashes using the integrated speed light transmitter feature. New in the Rebel line is the 7,560 pixel RGB plus IR metering sensor. Not only does this sensor deliver more accurate metering, which accounts for colors and infrared spectrum light rather than just brightness, it also is part of the new EOS scene detection system, which can detect variability in light sources like flickering fluorescent lights and then compensate for it. The system also delivers even more accurate tracking of moving subjects in some autofocus situations and automatic scene detection is more accurate as well. The T6i and T6s do a nice job with video capture. They record full HD 1080p footage at up to 29.97 frames a second and you can use the onboard mic or the 1 8 inch mic jack for an optional external microphone. And I want to point out that several of the available kits with these cameras come with Canon STM lenses, and those are great lenses for informal video capture. Even when you use the built-in microphone for audio, you won't hear the focus motor while it adjusts focus during filming. That's an easy recommendation for amateur photographers. The images the Canon Rebel T6i and T6s deliver are big, beautiful 24.2 megapixel images. Consistent with Canon cameras that have APS-C size sensors, the images are color accurate and large areas of subtle color are smooth. These cameras capture whatever the lens you're using can see. 
I prefer a raw image workflow and I was pleased that even though I was using pre-release cameras, the raw files were already compatible with Photoshop's Camera Raw interpreter. And while Canon's JPEG processing is especially good, I like the extra control that you get from raw files. I can tell you that the noise at ISO 6400 is noticeable, but it's fine grain noise and there was less color noise than I expected. Even at 12,800, I didn't see blotchy color noise like so many other sensors at their maximum native ISO setting. At 100% size with ISO 6400, you will see grain, but the images could be usable and if you're scaling those big 24 megapixel images down at all for posting on the web, the noise is less of an issue. At 12,800, the grain does get a bit too noticeable. Overall, I'd say this is a very good low light performer in its category, but as you'd expect, full frame modern DSLRs will be less grainy. Keep in mind, my image noise commentary is really just nitpicky, and I mention it only so pixel peepers know what to expect. The fact is, the T6i and T6s deliver big, beautiful color images worthy of large format output. There are a lot of rebel firsts with these two cameras. They're equipped with Wi-Fi and near-field communication, so your iOS or Android devices can talk to the cameras. You can upload images wirelessly to the web or send them to a printer directly. And I love the fact that a smart device can be a remote control with remote image preview. Earlier I mentioned the touchscreen and I mentioned the new EOS scene analysis system, but there's something really impressive that you can do when you combine these to change your focus point during video capture. Here's what I mean. Videos captured with autofocus almost always look amateurish because autofocus systems notoriously hunt for focus if things in the scene change during filming. Those blurry moments are a dead giveaway that autofocus is turned on. So pros always focus manually to avoid those kinds of problems. When Canon released the 70D with dual pixel CMOS AF, they practically eliminated that autofocus hunting during filming. And you could not only accurately track focus, but you could change focus points by touching a different spot on that touch screen during filming. The focus system on the T6i and the T6s is almost as good as that and far better than any previous Rebel. In scenes with reasonably good lighting and contrast, I was able to rack focus like the 70D does without the focus hunting, something I'd never do with any other Rebel. Canon knows that a camera like this is gonna be a learning camera for lots of users, and that's why Canon's creative auto shooting mode has always been a nice feature. It lets shooters who are new to DSLRs get the look that they're after even before they understand the various exposure settings needed to capture a particular look. For instance, all you have to do is set the mode dial to CA and then there's a slider so that you can choose to make the background softer or more crisp. There are modes when novices know that they're shooting specific scenes like sports or close-ups or landscapes among others. The scene special mode gives you quick access to a few more presets like kids or food shooting and of course later on when novices start becoming more skilled enthusiasts. The creative shooting modes like programmed auto, shutter priority, aperture priority or full manual let you control exactly what you want. The T6i and the T6s have in-camera cropping and creative filters, so you can alter images in-camera. I'm not one for in-camera editing, but I can see where applying a watercolor or a miniature effect in-camera, then wirelessly uploading the image right away might be a fun way to share. So the images that you capture with either of these cameras will be identically beautiful. Speed, performance, and build quality are also identical but just a few of the controls and a few of the readouts are different. The most noticeable difference is that the T6S has a backlit LCD panel on the top. Now this is a first for the Rebel line. In many cases, the information on that screen will be a duplicate of the data that's on the rear LCD quick control screen. So if you wanna keep the T6S's rear LCD off, except for image review, you still see the important settings on that top LCD. If you're shooting at night, that's a nice way to work because that rear LCD can be bright when your eyes adjust to the dark setting. And since there's no top LCD on the T6i, you don't have the option to turn off the rear LCD while it's open. However, you can flip it closed and that'll turn it off. Because of the T6S's top LCD position, it has the mode dial on the other side of the camera. And because it's easier to accidentally bump in that position and change the mode dial setting, there is a lock button in the middle. The T6 
eye doesn't have that lock button in the middle. Both cameras have a main dial up by the shutter button, but the joystick style controls on the back of the T6i are called cross keys, and you press those up, down, left, and right to control things like moving through the menus or selecting a focus point. The T6S has a quick control dial, which also acts like that same up, down, left, right joystick style control, but it also adds a rotating dial for scrolling. And below it is a lock switch to help you avoid accidental button presses. Pressing the info button on the T6i just toggles between a blue and white settings display screen and that handy quick control screen. On the T6s, you also have an electronic level option, or, as I mentioned, that rear display can be toggled off. The other difference I found between these two cameras is the proximity sensor on the T6S. When you hold the camera to your eye to look through the optical viewfinder, it flips off that rear LCD. That way you don't get glare from the rear LCD in your peripheral vision while you're framing up a shot. But before you worry too much about that rear LCD glare on the T6i, all you have to do is press the shutter button halfway to get focus, and that turns off the rear LCD automatically. The new Canon Rebel T6i and T6S deserve their position at the top of the Canon Rebel lineup. These are impressive, capable cameras designed for a broad audience, and like I mentioned earlier, even though Canon isn't targeting pros with these cameras, I'd be willing to bet that novices and pros alike will love the shots and the videos that they'll be getting with these Rebels. For b and and Kelby One, I'm Larry Becker. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, b &H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help. We all know the difference a great teacher makes. They inspire you, challenge you, and push you to do the things you never thought you could. For creatives, that means you've got to know your tools inside and out whether it's Photoshop or photography, lighting or Lightroom, InDesign or After Effects. And while there are free videos out there, you have to watch 30 bad ones just to find a decent one. And a lot of times, the techniques are either outdated, complicated, or just plain wrong. What we need is a better way to learn, one that connects amazing teachers with creative people all over the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. A thriving educational community with nothing but the most talented, engaging, and respected teachers in the industry. Then we simplify the whole learning process with short, clear, concise classes. That's exactly what we've created for you right here at Kelby One.